please, let's give an attentive and warm welcome to Abigail Martin. All right, the first perfect poem I'm starting with tonight is called Revolution. I wrote this about a year, year and a half ago. I want to change the world, they said. But to my surprise, I hear a reaction not so pleased. Don't worry about helping people in other countries. Worry about helping your own. I feel the need to jump in, but I don't. But in my mind, my thoughts are racing. Yes, our country has problems that need to be fixed. Other countries do too. But pay attention to what is being said. They did not say they want to change America. They said they want to change the world. The world is more than us. You can't change one country and consider the whole world fixed. It's not. It takes more than that. It takes the white flakes falling from the sky turning into snow instead of ash. It takes all the kids in all the countries drinking water instead of mud. It takes people holding hands instead of guns. It takes people full of hellos instead of goodbyes. It takes mouths spreading kind words instead of hateful lies. It takes a child walking down the hallway looking for their locker instead of a place to hide. It takes people caring about others instead of themselves. It takes an army instead of for war, for a revolution. Yeah. The next one I wrote is called Shadow Puppets, which is a little more deep than the other. I walk down the hallway, my hands tucked in my pockets and my face down, facing the floor. I watched my feet as the steps passed. One by one, I turned that corner, only to fear what was on the other side of it. I heard voices that were all too familiar, voices that burned at the touch as their words attacked, not one at a time, but all at once. My face went red with anger. My eyes blurred from the tears. My heart filled so close to the top, I thought it would burst. I kept walking, down that hallway, into the next. I stepped into the classroom, hoping to go and notice as I worked my way to my seat in the very back of the room. I felt things were better when I wasn't seen or heard. Maybe they wouldn't notice, I thought. Maybe they wouldn't know that I was there. But every day, I was wrong. They knew. And I knew it, too. I felt, there were days I felt like a shadow puppet, dancing on the walls. There, but not really. At night, I would fall asleep, praying to God I didn't wake up the next morning. Daylight came, and there I was, eyes open, breath flowing, just as there as I was yesterday. Daylight came, and there I was again. Many nights, I didn't sleep. Like an owl at night, sitting in the dark just staring at something, at nothing, at everything. In the middle of the night, I would find myself crying, screaming almost, not who, but why. I wasn't asking what started, but how the hell it was going to end. I sat alone in my room, thinking of different ways to die. The quickest, the painless, the reliable, and the easy. I wrote note after note telling of how my heart felt when it dropped on the concrete and shattered into a million pieces that I just couldn't pick up. I wrote of how hard it was to hide behind a mask of my dreams and... Ugh. I wrote of how hard it was to hide behind a mask of dreams. Everyone else had made none of my own. I wrote of all the things going through my mind, racing like my feet on a racetrack. I tried and I tried to put myself into words, but how do you put yourself into words when you don't know who you are? I made the fire that was burning inside me flow from my wrists. My mind was at war, and my skin was its battleground. I felt I was in a hole so deep I couldn't get out, like I was hanging off the edge of a cliff by one hand that was slowly slipping off. I thought I was in a mess so bad even God couldn't save me. I was numb to the thought of there being hope. I was numb to the pain and the way the wind fell in my face. I was numb to the way the rain fell as it hit every tear. I was numb to the way my throat ached as if I just swallowed fire. After screaming to the top of my lungs, I was empty. Hollow from inside, from all the things taken from me. Broken inside, from all the things thrown at me. There was a hurricane on the inside, a smile on the out, faking that I'm not broken. Walking the hallways day in and day out, hoping that someday things might get better. Going to bed at night, tears in my eyes, wishing that I won't wake up. <laughs> crying every morning, waking up every day, facing my fears, knowing that hell is the double doors I face each morning. I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one who has felt this way. I'm not the crazy one, nor am I the sane one. I'm the one who sees the world for what it really is on the inside. When the sun goes down and the dark comes out, as I grew up, I realized I wasn't afraid of the monster under my bed. I was afraid of the monster inside me, the one that was ripping and tearing and dying to get out. Everyone tells you to destroy what destroys you, but what if you're destroying yourself? How do I kill the monster inside my head without killing myself with it? I fought a battle inside myself where I was my weakest and strongest opponent. I was cutting through my skin, trying to get out whatever it was that was burning, filling to the brim with smoke. I was overflowing. I was running, searching for something that might take it all away. I was told therapy would untangle the thoughts inside my head. A dose of trazodone would help me go to bed. Prozac and a bottle of pills would fix me. I won't live my life not knowing who I really am on the inside. Under everything, the pills hide. I was told to lie by people that they could come and save me, when the only person that could save me was myself. I kept waiting and waiting for someone to come along and save me. I'm not Tom Sawyer, and no one can do the job for me. I decided this is not how I'm going to live my life. This is not how my story will end. This is not me, nor is it my future. It is only a bump in the road. 
I'll fight back against my demons. I'll fight back against the world. I'll search to the tops of the mountains and backs to find myself. I'll beat my battles. I'll rise above it. I'll come back and I'll win the war. I'll learn that everything is beautiful if you take a close enough look. There's always a way out if you want to find it. The demons in your head are not invincible. You can fight them and you can win. Things can change. Things can get better. It's not easy, but it's worth it. And it all starts with you. This next one's called Home, which I'm reading for someone who's here. You lied beside me under the stars and told me you could see my face in the moon. That every night you were away from me, you peeked out your window just to picture my smile. I told you you were crazy, but I loved you anyway. When deep down inside, I knew exactly what you meant, but I would never tell you that in fear that you would stop seeing me there. You brought me a balloon in the shape of a heart, and I said I was like the helium inside of it, always keeping you afloat. When you said I love you for the first time, it flowed from your lips like as smooth as the ink flows from my pen. But all I could do was stand there, like a statue, and hope that despite my silence, you knew I felt the same way. We were tied tighter than the triple lace Triple knotted shoelaces in my sneakers. We were a roller coaster. Every day there were ups and downs, but I never stopped enjoying the ride. I remember tracing circles on your skin like the ones raindrops leave in puddles. Every winter I loved making snow angels because every one of them reminds me of you. I told you I wanted to grow wrinkles together, write our story together, be by your side every day you were sick, and when you told me don't get too close, you'll get sick too. I'd say, I don't care. Move in together, you said. Make a home together. Looking in those eyes, you are home. Yes. Now I have one more, and this one's called Fire, which I wrote about 11 months ago. I love the rainy days and starry skies and the nights I spent right by your side. Your smile left me breathless, your voice made me smile. I got lost in you and I walked a few miles. I found a whole new world in your eyes. My stomach was a cocoon filled with butterflies. My heartbeat was racing, my body was numb. I fell for you hard, how could I be so dumb? You stole my heart and I gave you the key. I gave you the chance to destroy me. I put my trust in your hands and prayed you would keep it. Spending my life with you is the only way I seen fit. With the look in your eyes and the sound of your voice, loving you wasn't a choice. I stayed here and waited for you to come home. I never imagined I'd spend our day alone. What happened to the girl with the sparkle in her eye? What happened to the girl that never made me cry? What happened to forget ever is always a lie? I never thought this was how our love would die. I showed you a person that very few see. You were the one person who seen the real me. I kissed your lips like the waves kissed the shore, and you always kept me running back for more. Even when my heart was shattered, I loved you inside, and that's all that mattered. My love burned like a flame inside my chest. To keep you with me, I did my very best. When love is a fire, it burns like a flame. Sometimes you get burned, and you've no one to blame. When you fall too hard and you fall too fast, all you do is repeat the past. With your hand in mine, I could face anything. I fought every battle life could think of to bring. You made me feel bulletproof like I couldn't be shot down, but you pulled the trigger when no one was around. When your heart gets broken, it feels like you've been shot. Bloodstains and fragments, that's all that you've got. When memories play like movies inside your head, the pain gets so bad you think you'd rather be dead. I loved you in ways no one will understand. I loved you in ways that should be banned. I loved you like waves love sandcastles as they wash them away. I loved you like moonlight that tries to shine during the day. I loved you like heaven and it sure hurt like hell. Time heals everything, then I guess time will tell. You don't care what I say, so why do I bother? Maybe because I love you like fire loves water. Thank you.